My dad sells chicken. I've seen some of the factories. They're better than you think. Whoa, 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 right here. I can show you some footage. Don't want to traumatize you. I could show you some horrible shit. I love animals myself. You don't. Yes. In your religion, it's okay to be cruel to animals for food. I, no, it's not cruel because the cruelty is done with a purpose. You're not being cruel for the sake of being cruel. You're being cruel for okay. purpose to be able to eat so them, in to your raise religion, them. Did you agree with him that um, if it happens inside a factory farm context, it's not cruel, so long as it's done for a purpose? So I'm, I'm a little bit biased, actually, because okay. my dad sells chicken. OK. Uh, he buys and sells chicken. He's a food broker. So he's a, what does he do? He buys it wholesale and sells it? Sells it, wholesale food broker. That's what he does. OK. Why so would you he, be biased, then? Because he buys it from the factory farm. So you, you, you're, like, financially biased or what? Well, he's my dad. Yeah, but you can still agree that it's wrong. So I, I, I've seen some of the factories. Yeah. You know, he sent me videos. Yeah. Some of them are pretty humane. Some of them aren't. Oh, uh, your dad walks through and has a look at the suppliers. So he goes to the factories in Thailand, in Brazil, whatever. Um, and I think, you know, some of the new ones, uh, they're better than you think. You know, particularly some of the cage barns, they're not, you know, in a cage packed in. I've got, I've got a video on my phone. I can probably show it to you. I've got some videos too, man. I, I visit Enriched Cage Day, Egg Barns. Are you talking about egg barns? I'm, no, I'm talking about purely for chicken, not for... Oh egg. yeah, well the chickens aren't housed in cages in the UK anyway. They're in big factory sheds. So what was your actual qualms? Oh, uh, basically, I'm, I'm just asking people why they aren't vegan, like, because animals have a sentient... They're, they're like conscious beings having their own subjective experience. Not on the same level as us, but it's still... They based. feel emotions. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, I okay, agree. you agree with that? So my, my argument is if we don't need to mass torture and kill them for sandwiches, then why are we doing it? We should live in a way that doesn't support these animal rights violations to suffering the killing by being vegan. So I absolutely agree with you in that food, when you, when you, when you look at it, you know, it's, it's all for the environment. You grow, you know, you farm cows, it's all for the environment. Cows, yeah. cows are particularly Yeah, it's bad for the environment. I, it's a separate argument. I'm just okay. making, a, making an ethical one about Ethic. animal rights, yeah. Well, how, how, how do you propose that we feed the, the, the population? On plant foods. So you talk about tofu? Because tofu is not great for the environment as it is. So you've got... What's the matter with tofu? It's a good question. I know it's not you've great. You've heard it's bad. I know, I know, the, I know why you think it's bad. I think it's for water usage required to grow the tofu. It's, it's not one great. of the lowest uh, plant foods in terms of water use. Really? Yeah. But I think you might be talking about the fact that there's a lot of soy grown in the Amazon and they're deforesting for that soy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Well, most of that soy, what's it for? Soy milk? No? Nah. It's about 77% of the soy on Earth is used for animal feed. Oh, really? To feed the chickens that your dad sells. Yeah, they import a bunch of soy over here to feed chickens and pigs so, in factory farms. Obviously, if, if everyone wants to go vegan... We'd free know, up a bunch of land, so about 80% of the farmland on Earth has yeah. been used to either graze animals or grow feed for animals. And we could reduce that farmland by 75% by all, if we all adopted a vegan diet. So we'd free up farmland, we'd free up uh, resources. So what, what would your kind of method be? How, how, what was your way to feed the population purely vegan? You know, how's everyone get, gonna get their nutrients? I, I understand they're all trying to, they're all trying to The same way that but, we do now. So tofu, soy. Oh, you mean like in terms of traveling the food around or you mean nutrition in terms of health? Nutrition in terms of health. I mean, we can get it all from plant foods and a couple supplements like B12 you should supplement anyway. Um, they give that supplement to chickens in barns. And, but yeah, I think you should supplement B12. And if you're in a cloudy country like the UK, vitamin D3, you can get a vegan version. And most of the, most of the other nutrients you can just get from plant foods. I mean, there's no nutrient like that you can't get from so, plants or supplements. Cow's milk, all of that, no? Those cows are, uh, yeah, dairy industry's f***ed up really bad. They're all exploited, cause suffering, constantly kept pregnant, kids taken, killed, and then they're sent to the slaughterhouse and minced up for burgers. But obviously, if, if everyone wants to go vegan, it's tofu or, you know, beans, that's... Uh, tofu, so seitan, mock meats, uh, vegan meats. We've got lab-grown meat coming in the future, but we can go vegan now. We've got lentils, beans, so broccoli, uh, vegan whatever you want, the lab, rice, pizza, what, what about pasta. The lab-grown... The lab <laughs> Obviously, I like those things, obviously. Yeah, vegan uh, versions, bro. Burritos. You know, my sister actually recently, she's pretty much vegan. She eats vegan cheese. She does lots of vegan stuff. She's gluten and lactose intolerant. So, I, you know, I, I, I've tried it all. I, I, to be honest, I don't think there's that big a difference. Whoa, 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 right here. So it's not that big a difference. When you're eating meat, dairy, and eggs and all that, animals are being mass exploited and often suffering in factory farms. And then in every single case, they go to a slaughterhouse to be decapitated, right? but not much difference in taste, right? Yeah. How is that justified? 
How do you justify that? Because you can't turn it overnight. And I think you know you can't turn it overnight. It would take... No, just you, know, you. I just mean you. Because you know how, like, you don't go around kicking dogs or punching people? No, because yeah. of your contribution to that, you know, you, you know, I don't personally do it. I'm not going to stop all the punch, dog kicking and people punching overnight, but I don't do it. It's called, it's called your personal morality, right? So my question is, yeah, we're not going to stop it overnight, but why do you do it? Like, you personally? So I'm a uni student. Okay. I'm dressed like a mob. You look good. You look like a businessman. You look swap, yeah. bro. Uh, so I'm a uni student, so, you know, when I, when I go to the shops, I'm buying, I'm bought by meals, I'm bought by chicken because... Do you fun, got financial constraints, yeah? Fundamentally, there aren't the bulk buy options for vegan stuff that I'd like, you know. I go to, say, Audi and I buy 500, 500 grams of shredded cheese, you know, it's not vegan. How much? It's like 250, something like that. I, I, and does that make up much of your diet? <laughs> cheese, maybe not, but like mince. Okay. You know, okay. yeah, mints. Okay, mints. and how much mints do you buy, and how much is it? To be fair, last term I was I was on about 500 grams of mints a night. And how much is that? 500 grams of mints. Yeah, and how much does it cost? Just over three pounds, something like that. But ah 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 ah. One sec. You can get this stuff called textured vegetable protein. I recommend it because it's like it's it's soya with the fat removed. Super high in in protein. It's like 60% protein. High in fiber, high in calcium. You get it dried in a bag. You can get it online or you can get it from Holland and Barrett. Get it in heaps of different places, right? TVP, it's amazing. It's mints, right? You can buy it in bulk. It'd be way cheaper per calorie than actual mints. You rehydrate it, basically. But, you know, I'm a uni student. I've got sporting commitments. I've got, yeah. you know. So how, all you how, do, long, how long does it take to rehydrate? So what do, you, what do you use mints for? What do you cook? I literally have mints and then pasta. Great. So you make a, bo a bowl of uh, tomato sauce, pasta? Tomatoes, you put your onions in there, you put your water in there, put a little extra water in there, dump your TVP in there. You know, you only need a couple handfuls because it rehydrates and it sucks up all the juice. Salt, pepper, boom, done. But is it not super processed? It's not super okay. processed, it's just defatted. Ah, 500 grams, three, three dollars, uh, three pounds, 38. So it's, so it's about the same No, 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 it's not, it's not. Because this is dehydrated, you rehydrate it and it goes like this. And it's got way more protein, it's got no saturated fat, uh, no cholesterol. Super, it's not no saturated what fat, about, but very low. What about red, red blood cells, you know, because you, you need that, doesn't it? Soya has iron, um, soya has calcium, soya has... You're going to be fine, man. I've done a couple budget videos before, too. Okay. You can to, get to, a week's to, worth of shopping for 30 quid, man, on a vegan diet. I've done it before. Really? Hell yeah, no, I'm bro. spending 80 pounds a week on, on food alone. Soya milk, soya milk, 40p, 50p? This is 50p for a litre of soya. 50p. Boom. Let's go. Red lentils. Big bag, lentils, protein, no, fiber, boom, boom, boom. To, to be honest, me and my mate Sam, we did one vegan night a week, vegan, veggie, night a week. When we were at uni, we, did, we made this lentil curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made it every dal, week. Like dal. Pardon? Like dal, like a big pot of dal. Yeah, 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 yeah. you put the rice in, really nice. Yeah. Um, so we did that, but I can't, I can't see myself making the jump to fully vegan. No, no, uh, we're just having a conversation, bro. No, 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 no. I'm just asking you, how do you knowing what happens to all these animals being tortured and killed for not much difference in taste you said you said i did say that i did say that if we deal with, dealt with the budget like how do you justify all this horrible shit? i can show you some footage don't want to traumatize you i could show you some horrible shit. and it happens on mass in the uk all around the world how you justify that little bit of inconvenience little bit of taste you know you have to you know realign your like your your, your shopping list a little bit to be true truly truthful then you know you, you laid out all the argument from me Habit is probably the biggest one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's distance from me. Oh, you mean disconnect I, from the process of the animals? I'm not seeing these animals being sourced. And, and, and you know, a that clear form to say that. That would make me sound like a really bloke. So actually. let's just say you're sitting in a you're sitting on a chair and you're you're, a, you're an army general, right? And you can push a button that's going to carpet bomb a whole community. It's much easier just to go like that, bang, and go, yeah, we, I hope we've got a couple of them soldiers, and walk back into your bedroom, go to sleep, watch some TV, boom, 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 than it is to actually physically be on the ground and throw grenades at everyone, watch them blow up, and you're, you're seeing all the, the, the death, the destruction, and the suffering, right? Well, no, 100%, yeah. But those actions are Just as consequential, if not more so. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. So you have to try to make the connection. That's what vegans are. We made the connection. We, don't, we made the connection from our actions, our morals, our actions, and uh, the animals. But you know, like, I, I love animals myself. You know, you, don't. you like certain animals. Do you like cows? Yeah, cows are pretty cute, yeah. Do you think there's a moral distinction between the experience of, say, a dog and an experience of, say, a pig or a cow? Moral, no. Mental, yeah. yes. Okay, what's the mental? Mentally, you, you, look, you look at a dog and you go... Ah, oh, for you, though? 
I mean for them, like their experience. Is it, do you reckon it's much different the way they like cruise around and experience the world? No, probably not. Well, actually, you know, this is actually, they probably have very different experiences, but mentally, you know, the emotions they feel is pretty, yeah. pretty similar. Yeah, I mean like their subjective individual experience is probably about on par, right? Like if I stab a cow in the back and I stab a pig in the back and I stab a dog in the back, they're probably all going to feel that in a similar way. Yeah, no, absolutely. But, I, you know, obviously, it'd be ideal. Everyone in the world went vegan, you know. But it would be good. We, we, we would all prosper for it. How would you implement this? How would you feed nearly 8 billion people based on plant-based loan? What steps would you recommend to ramp up the agriculture to the point where it's at? We've already got enough uh, plant agriculture to feed all of us humans, plus the 80 billion an land animals that are fed and slaughtered every year. So we've already got enough plant agriculture. I'd... But anyways, it's been yeah. good talking to you, bro. Pleasure. What were you going to say? Joey. 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 TVP for mints. T. V. V. P. No, send me, send me the link for that, uh, that, that vegan stuff. All right. Hey, hey, talk to me now. All right, all right. Have a look. All right, let's go.